in this box, I have a Fendi bag, my very first Fendi bag. I got an incredible, mind-blowing deal on this bag from Fashion File. However, let me show you this without showing you my address. The box is open here. It had tape on it and the tape is torn, and it arrived a few days late. There was a shipping delay, so I'm a little concerned. I hope everything's all right. I think it will be. We're gonna open this up and see what's inside. This bag you've probably never seen before, and it is incredible, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Autumn from the future here. I have to jump in and add, because I completely forgot about this in my excitement, that this video is a collaboration between me and Winnie B. LV. We are both unboxing something from the same brand. Spoiler alert, it's Fendi, and they are both spectacular pieces. I know what she got. You want to know how I know what she got? Because I'm the one who found it and sent her the link to it. I knew it was something she was looking for. I knew it was something she'd likely never find again, and you will all be amazed. And Dale of Dale's Addiction. If you're watching this, and I know you are, make sure you go watch Winnie's video too, because you are going to love what she got. You're also going to love what I got. You all are. Maybe not all of you. Some of you don't like pretty things, and still you watch these videos. Anyway, I will have Winnie's video linked below, so as soon as you're done watching mine, you can go watch hers. Now back to Autumn from the Present. Ooh. Let's get into this box. This is something I had not planned for, this purchase. It's not a bag I was looking for. In fact, it's a bag that I have had a dupe of before and I didn't like the style of it so I crossed it off my list of bags I might be interested in. However, I was scrolling through Fashion File as I do multiple times a day because you know that's part of my job here and this bag came up and it was so unique and stunning and such an incredible deal. I just snapped it up. I had to and there's a chance I'd send it back once I open it up and you know maybe it just won't work for me as beautiful as it is and as great a deal as it is, but pretty sure I'm gonna be, excuse me, do you really need to sneeze while I'm filming? The dogs are below me. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this because it looks pretty fabulous. So let's get into this. And like I said, it was delayed a bit in shipping and it's really frustrating when that happens because it was supposed to arrive a few days ago and they said, you know, this is the day that's gonna arrive. And then it didn't arrive that day. And then I go to check the shipping information and it says, we're sorry, there's been a delay and we'll update you with a new date when we have it because we don't have it yet and they don't tell you what's going on is your package damaged I mean this one arrived with the tape ripped so what was that about it was just that one strip the strips on the side were not ripped who knows there's a little trying to figure things out here but this is strange let me show you the inside of the fashion file box so there's this paper that i guess was some kind of pillow cushiony thing which really wasn't doing all that much thanks fashion file for trying it's more than the real real does here's a paper thank you and sell stuff back to us the receipt i'm getting really annoyed with the confetti i don't like the circle confetti it's not as good as the old strips of confetti this is just whoops just dropped at all. It's just stacks of, conf of confetti because it's flat and it sticks together. It's not exciting. I would rather have no confetti than the circle confetti. Here is the item. The sticker's upside down, but it says used as the new new. Looks like they've also put a pillow on the underside of the bag. Here's the item and on the side. It just, whoops, it just fell on Roxy and I just put the box down on Baron's head. My fashion file, nail file, with my mantra, I like my money where I can see it, hanging in my closet. I just love that. Whoops, I just whacked Roxy in the face with the box. That's all right. They're just dogs. Horrible thing to say. They're far more than just dogs. They are dogs. Dogs are the best things on the planet. At some point we will get to unboxing this bag. Pull it out of the paper. Oh god, there's confetti everywhere. I don't like this confetti. Ooh, the bag feels good. It's small, which I knew. I'm going to untie the drawstring. Unfurl. Wait, what is it called? Cinch, right? So we're uncinching 
the dust bag and inside wow i can see it and wow 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 okay hold on let me get it set up where you can see it without the fashion file tags in the way i'm gonna tuck those in <gasps> Here we are. Are you ready to be amazed? Prepare yourself because you will be. Mm? Any guesses? Fendi. What Fendi bag has one top handle? Mm, there's another clue. Surely you know what it is by now if you're at all familiar with Fendi, but you haven't yet seen <gasps> the glory, the spectacularness. Look at this. This bag kind of looks like sequins or crystals or something on the screen there. These are beads. I'm gonna give you a close-up, but we're gonna do that spin first. Oh my gosh. This thing just sparkles in the light. Now, yeah, unless there's something really wrong with this, as I inspect it, this puppy is staying with me. Wow, that is spectacular. I'll tell you what it cost retail and what I paid for it. It's amazing. Whew. And we will look at this up close. So it's covered in beads that I'm going to assume are hand beaded. And the beads are on top of a blue, like a navy lambskin. Oh, it's fabulous. The hardware is some kind of silver, ruthenium, I don't know, it's a shiny silver. No feet on the base but a lovely lambskin, so soft, leather bottom. Oh, and of course, it's the Fendi Peekaboo. This is in the mini size. They had it listed as the micro size, which might have had something to do with the price being as low as it was. I looked at the measurements and compared that with other Peekaboo bags, because I'm really not very familiar with the Peekaboo, and it was definitely the micro and not the mini. The mini is smaller than this. It's nice and squishy. There are a couple of flaws that I'm already aware of and I will go through that with you as I inspect the bag here. And I don't know a whole lot about the Fendi Peekaboo. I researched it a little bit and learned a few things. Just looking at some details here. So let's go over the bag. We'll see what's inside. It does have some things inside to look at. If you're not familiar with the Fendi Peekaboo, it is basically the same on both sides. That was one of the things that I didn't like about the dupe that I had was if I'm carrying the bag, I don't know which side I put my stuff in because there's nothing to differentiate the sides. But it has this twist lock, which has Fendi engraved on it there on both sides of the lock. Very similar to the Mademoiselle lock on the Chanel bags. Inside this pocket is where all the goodies are. So we've got our fashion file tag. It says the official name is the Fendi Metallic Beaded Micro Peekaboo. Yeah, see micro, it's not the micro, it's the mini. And fashion file's doing these little tags now, these little plastic things in addition to the paper tag. Attached to that strap. The handle there is this strap, the shoulder strap, crossbody strap really, which has o-rings on either end and they are engraved with Fendi and then you just open it up like this, like you would a regular o-ring. Put that to the side. Everything is engraved. The little squares here are engraved with Fendi and I was looking a second ago at the inside of this rectangular metal piece and on both sides they're engraved made in Italy. They have this stuffed with some bubble wrap, which is very nice. Keep it nice and shipping both sides. And the reason this bag is called the peekaboo is that this is made to stay open and flop down and you get a peek at the inside of the bag. And on some peekaboos there's a special fabric inside that's different from the outside. On my peekaboo the outside is what's special and different. On some peekaboos both the inside and the outside are special and different. One thing that I'm learning about Fendi, and I've learned this mostly by watching Dale's Addiction, I will link her channel below, because she is super into Fendi if you're not familiar with her, and she's also so wonderful. And she was one of the first people I showed this bag to after I bought it. I've learned from her that Fendi, on their classic bags like the Peekaboo, the Baguette, whatever other bags they do, they do all kinds of finishes where you get a limited selection from other design houses. You'll find, if you're searching for the Peekaboo, for example, you'll find beaded ones, you'll find solid leather, you'll find different materials woven, sequins, fur, whatever you can think of. I actually saw, this was incredible, I have to put a picture of it here. I saw a peekaboo on the real reel the other day that has skunk fur. Have you ever heard of skunk fur on a luxury bag? If that bag had been in better shape, I was seriously considering buying it because I thought it was just so absurd. I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, the peekaboo has this metal piece across the top. You can see the rivets there and that is where the turn lock is. 
and let me see okay it serves as the divider in the bag and i was trying to see if it was very stiff and it's not it's leather so it's soft this bag is lined in the lambskin that you also see on the outside of the bag and i have to be careful with this because the beads are catching on my lacy top on this side of the bag there is one small slip pocket that you could use for cards on the other side of the bag there's a zippered pocket that has a leather zipper pull it's quite a small pocket and it's lined in fabric not in leather there is the little small pocket it's about big enough to fit cards like the other one is and then on that pocket is the little metal logo with a piece of leather behind it that says Fendi it says Fendi made in Italy this bag is gorgeous when I showed this to Dale she was asking me about the structure of the bag and if it had kept its structure I don't think this particular one ever had structure it's very squishy you see it'll just fall over if there's nothing in it because it's soft lambskin I mean it doesn't feel like there's anything between the lambskin there are like two pieces of lambskin it feels like the lining and then the outer piece of lambskin that has the beads sewn onto it the strap is also the same lambskin of course the base feels like it has some structure in it but otherwise nothing let me show you some of the flaws on this bag first of all very minor thing you may not even see it it may be there there are a couple of scratches to the bottom of the bag it doesn't have feet so you're gonna expect that especially with a soft leather like lambskin to my knowledge there are no scratches on the rest of the leather yeah I just checked out the leather on the top on the trim here by the way this metal piece is also covered in leather this bar right here I don't see any scratches there the interior of the bag appears to be scratch free and very clean I think there's supposed to be a serial code somewhere pretty sure there was a photo of it but I'm not seeing it right away oh here we go inside the zippered pocket there's a tag that says Fendi and on the back of that it has a code and it also says RFID label and removable it's removable by cutting it and leaving a weird edge so I'm not gonna remove it seems like that edge would fray the hardware does not appear to have any scratches that are significant there are a couple minor scratches on them that don't matter at all the hardware on the strap looks like it maybe never been used the biggest flaws with this bag is that it has a couple of missing beads now I will say, when I was looking at this bag before I purchased it, I googled it to try to get more information about it and see what the original retail price was, see what they had gone for on the pre-loved market. I found one other bag exactly like this, and it had been sold at Yugi's Closet. That bag sold for more than twice what I paid for it, and it also had missing beads. In fact, it had more missing beads than mine does. So I say that just to say that that seems to be a problem with this bag, so I know I'll have to be very careful with it. You know what? I think the fabric or the material that's right under the beads is a fabric and not lambskin. I had noticed that in the photos on Fashion File and that makes sense. And I'm having trouble even finding where the missing beads are. I found one right here. I think it's missing three because Fashion File had a picture of three of them. But the bag is so busy you don't even see it so it doesn't affect the look of the bag. There is one loose bead right here. I noticed that pretty quickly but Nobody else would, unless you're looking at it up close. I'm having a lot of trouble finding where the other missing bead is. I have a sales associate now at Fendi, so I thought I might get in touch with her and see if Fendi would fix that if I sent it in to them. Oh, there's a missing bead. The two places where my fingers are, they're a missing bead. Just not noticeable. If any of you know if Fendi would do that, I would appreciate the information. And I wonder how much it would cost because they would have to open up the lining and separate the fabric from the the lambskin inside in order to sew that in because on this side of the lambskin there's no stitching obviously it's all behind that and I would assume this was hand beaded I don't know how else it would have been done but I love the colors for me too those are my colors I showed this to Jill Maurer and she's like that's your colors yes it is indeed I know with these bags too they have these little sangles on the side and you can undo those I'm not sure what the purpose of those is it's not particularly easy to undo them at the moment so I'll just leave it as it is. But I do see people with these bags and the sangles are undone. All right, I'm gonna put some things in it so we can see what fits and then do some mod shots with it. This is my bag of the day today, the Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size and this is in the LGP print. So I'm gonna take my things out of this 
put them in the other bag. If you're familiar with the Longchamp Extra Small, but not with the Peekaboo Mini, here's a little size comparison. Very, very similar. So I expect them to have a similar capacity. Here are the bases on them. Remarkably similar. My Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette, my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM, my Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse, my Tory Burch Key Pouch from Yota, a Coach card holder. I'm gonna slip that if it'll fit. No, it will not fit. It will not fit in the little slip card pocket. Let's see if it fits in the zipped pocket. It doesn't really fit in there either. And this bag is getting pretty full at this point. Let me show you. So I have the mini pochette and the Tory Burch piece there. And on the other side, the agenda and the zippy coin. And if I want to close this, and I do, then that's about all it's gonna hold. I could still fit my keys in there down on the side or something, but it's gonna look like that. Fill out the bag nicely without being overstuffed. The top you'll see where it clasps is squeezed in and then it bows out a little bit on the edges. By the way, empty the bag is not heavy and of course you can top handle it. It'll slip over your arm although that wasn't very comfortable with the weight that's in it now because that top handle is pretty thin. The strap is very adjustable. Let me put it on the shortest length so you can see that on my shoulder and between my two fingers here on the strap there are holes so it's adjustable that much. It's about a foot worth of strap that you can adjust. And each hole's about an inch apart, so you do have about a foot of adjustability there. That's pretty amazing. Maybe not amazing, but generous. Here's the strap on the shortest length, and here's how that looks on my shoulder. So that's a good shoulder length. It'd be nice if it was even shorter, but this way it's down at my pants where it's not catching on my shirt, so I could wear it with the shirt this way. The shortest length is too short to be comfortably crossbody on me. Now let's try the longest length. And it does have a loop at the top and one down here that moves around so you can keep that strap under control. All right, this is the longest length. If I put it on my shoulder, you won't even be able to see the bag. The bottom of the bag is at my knees. Crossbody that falls at a comfortable length, but too low for me. So I would want it to be maybe more up here, just a couple inches higher. And now I shall finally reveal to you the price of this bag. You will never guess what it retailed for. If you feel like it, take a guess right now. Pause the video, go down to the description box, leave it, not the description box, go down to the comments and leave a comment guessing what you think this bag cost brand new from Fendi. It's a lot, I'll tell you that much. Here is the price. Retail on this bag from Fendi, $7,000. $650. So with tax and everything, well over $8,000. That is insanely expensive. That makes this the most expensive bag I have in my collection based on brand new retail value. However, it's far from the most expensive bag in terms of what I paid. You'll never guess what I paid if you'd like to pause the video and go guess that now. Be my guest. Here's what I paid, guys. Well, first of all, the Yugi's Closet one that was exactly like this and had a few more missing beads. That bag, though, also did have all the accoutrements with it. It had the box in the dust bag, it had the booklets, the paperwork, it might have had a receipt, it had the tags with it, not on the bag, but with the bag. It even had a little baggie of extra beads and sequins. By the way, behind each of these little beads is a sequin to make it sparkle a little more. So it did have some extra things with it, but the bag itself was in a little bit worse condition than mine. That bag sold for a little more than $2,000. It was like like 2,100 something. I paid, it was only up on Fashion File for a couple hours, maybe not that long when I saw this. So this was full Fashion File asking price. It wasn't discounted. I paid $900. $95 for a bag that costs basically $8,000. That is incredible. And, and for a, such an incredible bag. And that's, of course, why I jumped on it. Not only the look of this bag and how unique it is. And you know, this year I've been focusing on adding color and texture and more interesting bags to my collection. And boy, does this fit the bill. And those bags tend to be more expensive than the classic bags. But uh, wow, I found a bargain on this. And since I got this, I've been looking at peekaboos more. And the price Prices are really good on the pre-loved market for a lot of very cool peekaboos. You have a lot of choices, so if you're interested in a peekaboo, 
and I'm really enjoying this one so far and I haven't carried it yet, but it's, I, I can tell you this, it's far superior to that dupe that I had, which was quite stiff. This lambskin is smushy like peekaboos are intended to be. Yeah, no regrets here. Won't be going back. It is spectacular and you can find bargains like this too if you just keep looking on the pre-loved sites, which I have linked below. Autumn from the future here again. Remember to go watch Winnie B. LV's video. It is linked below. Spectacular, amazing item from Fendi that she got. You must check it out. If you don't, you will regret it. And I will make sure of that. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day after you watch Winnie's video. Bye.